This video shows you how to download and install an adapter for a vCenter Operations Manager vApp installation. You download the adapter installation file from the vCenter Operations Manager adapter FTP site. You can quickly navigate to the VMware FTP site by clicking this link in the vCenter Operations Manager adapter guide. The adapter guide is available on pubs.vmware.com and should be used as a secondary reference for installing and configuring adapters. Third-party and VMware adapter installation files are stored in separate folders on the FTP site. For this video, I'm installing the VMware Hyperic adapter. The Hyperic adapter folder and the installation files that it contains are in the Product Adapters folder. The Hyperic adapter folder contains the adapter installation file, adapter installation and configuration guide, and release notes. Adapter installation files for the vApp are in PAC format. You can download the adapter installation files to any machine that can access the vCenter Operations Manager admin user interface. You need to use the admin user interface to upload the adapter installation file to vCenter Operations Manager. Click the Update tab and browse to and select the PAC file that you downloaded from the VMware FTP site. Click Update to begin the update process and then follow the prompts on your screen to upload the file. The update process can take from 5 to 10 minutes. Because vCenter Operations Manager stops and restarts during the update process, you should perform this procedure during a small maintenance window or after hours. After the update process is finished, you can use the Describe process in the Custom User Interface to make vCenter Operations Manager recognize the new adapter. The Describe process runs periodically to look for new adapters, but you can also run it manually. To start the Describe process, select Support from the Admin menu, go to the Info tab, and click the Describe icon. The Describe process finds the adapter file, gathers information about the abilities of the adapter, and updates the user interface with information about the adapter. When the Describe process is finished, the new adapter appears in the Adapters Info pane. The build number of the adapter is in the Adapter Version column. The Describe process can take several minutes. The new adapter is now successfully installed into vCenter Operations Manager and is ready to be configured. For more information about installing adapters, go to pubs.vmware.com.